Hey gang, Mocha Boy here. Welcome back. Now this is the the second attack out of the war with uh, with the True Sons. Um, the attacker is BB. He is a new member with Reddit Force, but a pretty seasoned uh, clan war attacker. And uh, when he was looking through and, and trying to pick bases, this is the one that he chose. There are a couple things I want to point out about this base. It's, number one, it's the 24th base out of 25. And notice he's got full, uh, full Legos, but still about Town Hall 8, uh, st uh, Town Hall 8 defenses. And then notice the configuration of the Archer Queen along with the Town Hall and the um, and the Clan Castle. These, uh, what we're finding with a lot of bases uh, that with a lot of clans that compete at the leaderboard level is that uh, you know they're they're more than willing to give up the um, the Town Hall for a two star, but they make it extremely difficult to uh, to go and take out the rest of the base for for a three star attack. And, and typically the way that that works is um, you know smart placement of your double giant bombs. Uh, centralization of your AQ, making it as extremely difficult for anything to, to get at your AQ uh, to take her down because she's typically the number one target for a any attack, whether it's Go La Loon or Go Go Ho Wee Wee or Go uh, Go Ho. So um, they take pretty extraordinary measures to to protect their um, Archer Queens. Now, BB's plan for this was to jump uh, to jump an AQ kill team. Whoa, sorry. <clears throat> was to jump an AQ kill team into this pocket and then uh, do an Asian Wall of Hogs um, over on this side. Now, the Asian Walls, Asian Wall of Hogs, or Asian Hogs, I don't know what to call them anymore, uh, are, are really effective for, for a couple of different reasons. For Number one, they split up your assets. So, uh, at least at the outset of battle, all of the defenses pick a single target. You don't have six defenses all pummeling, um, all pummeling hogs. And think about the math here for a second. If you send one hog in, if you send one hog in uh, on on this archer, uh, on that wizard tower, you have one, two, three, four, maybe a tesla here. You're talking about potentially uh, 160, 200, 300, and then on, on, with the tesla, 400 DPS in one attack round in one second. They can apply 400 de damage to uh, to a hog. So if you were to send in hogs, kind of like in a row here, that means this guy's alive for one second, this guy's alive for one second, that guy's alive for one second. Now what happens is the re one of the reasons why the Asian Wall is so effective is because it splits the defender's DPS. That means instead of all coming down on one hog that may or may not live for one second. They're splitting their DPS amongst like five different targets. So, you know, one cannon on one hog, one archer tower on one hog, one wizard, you know, so on and so forth. These guys can last maybe five seconds before they're before they're taken down. And then if you break you know, if you back them up with even more hogs, uh, they will live long enough to take down those defenses before they push into the base. And then after that it, it really is just a matter of keeping up with the heals uh, un until the base is put down. But obviously the the same goes the same script goes for for this. Lure the CC, pull pull out. Um, you know, take care of the CC with your kill team. Have the kill team double up to go after the AQ, and then release your hogs and keep up with the heals. So let's take a look at that replay, and sh and see how he picked apart this base. Now I think this this was a follow up attack. We had um, so let's see three hogs. So right off the bat, one of the first things that that I would have said would have been to uh, you know to, to lead with a giant and send in the hogs because that first hog never survives to uh, to do any kind of damage. Uh, but in this particular case, even with that spring trap, he would have needed a giant along with three hogs, but he would have gotten a complete pull because I think, I'm pretty sure the uh, the pull wasn't, com or okay, so the, well, the pull was complete. Uh, one witch, uh, three wizards, and, and some archers, so. Uh, using a witch in his CC to to counter those guys, notice the spread of the wizards, uh, the late deploy of the golem to uh, to distract the uh, the witch, and then he can start his raid along with the um, the wall breakers. So he's through that first wall. Uh, Going to be setting up his funnel pretty soon, and then the jump there to draw the uh, the troops into the core. Does he keep his BK or does the BK? Yeah, BK goes for a walk. Uh, but I mean, no big problem there. The uh, Test hogs go through first. The Asian wall starts right after that. Notice again the uh, the defending DPS has has pretty much uh, split all of their DPS amongst uh, all of the different targets. The uh, the AQ kill team is going to work. And actually, wow, they never even made it into the core, but um, they probably will be pretty soon. And then at this point, it really is just a matter of keeping up with the uh, 
with the hogs. But um, yeah, that Asian wall splitting up your assets, they're, they're able to go through and trigger a couple of the bombs. The AQ kill team actually managed to trigger off uh, the other set of double giant bombs. And then at that point, it's um, it just a matter of keeping up with the heals. Now, one, one of the reasons, I want to point out that one of the reasons why this was even possible was because the defenses were, were uh, pretty low. Uh, you know, the, the hogs were able to survive long enough to go through and um, trigger off one set of the double giant bombs as well as uh, you know survive the gauntlet through, through the rest of the base but this was a really cool attack because it it showed uh, it showed a perfect execution of every single one of the stages of a hog attack uh, with the, with the exception of the kill, uh, the AQ kill team uh, which ended up working out anyway so great job there BB looking forward to seeing what else you do for us